Hello, what, welcome everybody. Sorry about that. <laughs> As we have Jason Outlaw coming out here. Start off RCW Daybreak, and he is here with his buddy Sinister. Kick off RCW Daybreak here on this Monday afternoon. How is everybody doing here tonight? I'm doing pretty well myself. I've uh, been creating some really awesome videos for you guys. I finished up the Luna Outlaw series. The mini-series. It's only five episodes long. I finished that up. Also been doing a couple of, you know, WWE 2K22 videos. I did one yesterday regarding the SummerSlam predictions. What I predict that 2K will give us at SummerSlam. So we have Jason Outlaw ready here to face his opponent here tonight. It is Bryce Blackwell. Bryce Blackwell coming out here with his brother, Big Nasty Bubba Blackwell. And Amaya, we wish her the, mo the, the best as she is recovering from an injury that she sustained from Luna Outlaw. And that is why she had missed the RCW kill shot match and was replaced by the Huntress, known as Kari. As Bryce Blackwell comes out here, ready to face Chase. I just want to thank everybody for the huge amount of support on. A lot of the videos as of late, you know, some of the 2K22 ones, you know, those are just some ideas that I've had. And, um, you know, I'm excited to really see what 2K has in store for us headed into uh, SummerSlam. As oh. Jason Outlaw almost got him, and he did! He got him real quick! Off of a roll-up! Wow! It seems like the bell just rung! And he got him! The bell just rung! And just like that, the match is already over. Wow. I didn't expect that, of course. But Jason Outlaw picks up the quick victory. I mean, Bryce Blackwell tried to suplex him. He reversed it into a pin combination and got a win. Gang, <laughs> I think that's the quickest win we've had in RCW history so far. But Jason Outlaw gets the quick victory over Bryce Blackwell as we go over to the break screen. Wow, what a quick match that was for our very first match. As we have Heather Wallace coming out here and Chris Danger? 
is out here with her. But Hikaru Shida! Shida is going to interrupt her entrance. All kinds of crazy things are happening right now. Here on Daybreak. As Shida was interrupting her entrance. Chris doesn't know what to do. Oh, what a knee is... Sheeta. Sheeta with a ripcord knee! Right to Heather Wallace. As Heather Wallace wants this match. And we're gonna have it! German suplex. It's Chris Danger. <laughs> Is in the corner of Heather Wallace. Now, he returned at Relentless trying to help out Mox against CM Punk. It didn't work out too well. And we're just going to see how well it'll work out for Heather Wallace. Is Sheeta. Sheeta with a Dominator. And another knee right to Heather Wallace as Sheeta trying to battle back here against Heather Wallace. Oh, but a knee right to the midsection and taking her out with a lariat. Now that was an extreme rules match that Chris Danger had returned in. And what I'm hearing from Brian Outlaw is Brian Outlaw will have something to say in regards to Chris Danger. This Wednesday on RCW, but what a super kick. Right to Hikaru Shida and a kick out here at one. I cannot believe how quick our first match went. Bryce Blackwell, the bell rung, and it lasted about, I would say about 10 seconds. And a quick roll up from Jason Outlaw. As Jason Outlaw continues to climb the ranks. As Sheeta with a couple of shots to the midsection of Heather Wallace. Oh, Heather Wallace. Oh, Heather Wallace with a neck breaker. As Chris Danger is loving every second of this one. It's an Irish whip. To the corner and a clothesline right in the corner there. Zikaru Shida with a jawbreaker. Right to Heather Wallace and oh, taking her down there. Just trying to create some space. Oh, Heather Wallace. My God, planting her face first. One, two. Oh, and Shida just got the shoulder up at two. Reversal there. Oh, what's Heather Wallace doing? Oh, she's ring around the rosy as she takes out Hikaru Shida. Now the right hands. Look at the right hands. Right to the face of Hikaru Shida. Irish whip into the corner as Heather Wallace with the. Knee right to the midsection. She's got Sheeta right there. Oh, tried for the knee. And Sheeta got out of the way of that one. Oh, but a reversal there. It's, oh, Hikaru Sheeta got planted again. One, two, and no, Sheeta still kicked out. There's a, there's a saying that a lot 
of the AEW fans like to chat, and that is whole <coughs> that is holy Sheeta. Sorry, guys. Allergies kicking my ass today. I don't know what it is. Sometimes that happens. The weather changing, all these things. Oh, knees right to the face of Sheeta. One, two, rolling it through, and a kick out at two and a half. They're from Sheeta. Oh, she tried to draw that line, but Sheeta, Sheeta taking her down. And now Sheeta. Sheeta gonna lift her up into the Falcon Arrow right onto Heather Wallace. Not going for the cover though, but. Nonetheless, it's working here. I cannot believe the chaos we are seeing here on Daybreak. We had about a 10 second match in the first match and now we have Sheeta interrupting Heather Wallace in her entrance. Oh, but now Sheeta, Sheeta with a kick to the knee. Here it is, the running knee! Right to the face of Heather Wallace and we're gonna catch a replay of this one. Bang, right there. The running knee, boom! Look at that, that's beautifully connected there from Sheeta. Pulling her away from the ropes, very wise. One, no! Heather Wallace kicked out at one. Not even a two count. As Sheeta now goes up top. And now Sheeta with a knee. She landed it. She tried for the same move that Heather Wallace tried on her earlier, but an arm drag here. Oh, tried for a punch. Oh, Sheeta coming back. Oh, Sheeta. Sheeta taking her down with a drop to hold. Oh, now looking for some type of submission. She's got it locked in. I'm not sure what this is. This is a very awkward uh, positioning here, but the referee's right there to make sure that if Heather Wallace decides to tap out, but she got out of it. Oh, now looking for a suplex here right on Sheeta. And now going after those hands again. Kick to the midsection. Oh, but Sheeta. Sheeta with a reversal, Sheeta. Sheeta gonna plant Heather Wallace. One, two to get the win over Heather Wallace and a kick out of two and a half. Chris Danger watching on. Oh, and there's that ripcord knee again. Heather Wallace gotta be dazed now. Looking for that Falcon Arrow. There it is! No pin to follow it up though, but a drop kick right to the back. And now she's going for the pin. One, two to get the win over Heather Wallace. No, kick out at two and a half again. Should have gone for the pin right after the Falcon Arrow. Chris Danger just watching along. Oh, here it is. The running knee one more time. One, two, and Heather Wallace again. With the kick out. This time it took two. Hikaru Shida is waving bye bye. But a kick out again out of frustration. That might have been a cover out of frustration there. Arm drag. So far, Chris hasn't done anything to get involved. Oh. Drop to hold again, and she's going for the pin. One. No. Kick out. Uh-oh. Here it is! Oh my god, planted! First Sheeta, two! 
Oh my. What the hell is Sheeta on right now? Oh, good. Good idea. Good idea. Smart from Heather Wallace. Rolling out. Oh, oh, brain buster. From Heather Wallace. And we haven't seen her brother Matthew Wallace in a little while, but I'm not sure where he is. Oh, is he... She tried for the splash. She'd have got the knees up. Oh. But a kick right to the back of the leg. Good elbow. Oh, my. Chris Danger loving this. What's up, Young Sin? Chris Danger coming back, trying to help out Mox, and now he's out here trying to help Heather Wallace. I'm not sure what he's planning. Oh, but Sheeta, Sheeta with the inverted DDT. Oh, Chris Danger. He's helping out Heather Wallace. They didn't really do much, though. She took forever to get up. Oh! The referee's distracted, though. Chris Danger. Distracted the referee. And Sheeta got... Sheeta hit her with a running knee. One. Two. Kick out. That just gave her enough time. Oh, referee got in the way. Gotta watch yourself, ref. Sheeta. Sheeta diving. Oh, and she got met with canvas. Oh, oh my God, what a knee right to the face of Sheeta. And Sheeta rolling out to the apron. Chris Danger literally saved this matchup for Heather Wallace here. Oh, oh, but a reversal into a pin combination. One, no kick out. Almost caught her. Almost got her there. Irish whip. Knee strike right there from Sheeta. Is that enough? One. No. I cannot believe it. Sheeta and Heather Wallace have both survived so many maneuvers. And it's just a matter of time before one of these ladies goes down for that three count or gives up and can't handle any more offense. And I cannot believe what we're seeing from Chris Danger. What What is he doing out here? He was out here on Relentless to help Moxley, which didn't end up in his favor as CM Punk picked up the victory there. And now he's out here helping out Heather Wallace. Now, he... Now, during his time away, he might have been watching RCW. You know, he might have been seeing some of the new additions that we had made when he was recovering from injury, but I I, I, I don't know the, the connection here. I don't know what's going on. And so... Heather Wallace! Gonna drop Sheeta right on the back of her neck there. It's Chris Danger. He seemed to like what he's seeing here. And like I said, I don't know what's going on with Chris Danger. I don't know what they're planning to Oh, no. Dark Matter. On Sheeta. Two. Three. And Heather Wallace gets the victory, but not without the help of the Dangerous One and Chris Danger. His distractions didn't work in the last match with Mox and Punk. But it worked here. As Heather Wallace gets the victory in a much better match than our first one.
where Bryce Blackwell, that's right, Bryce Blackwell, had lost in five seconds. Jason literally took, reversed the suplex into a pin combination, pinned him in four seconds. The match, like, started and then it ended just like that. And the the funny part is, Sinister was out there with Jason, Big Nasty was out there with, with, with Bryce, and Big Nasty just watched it happen. He didn't do anything to help out his brother at all. As Heather Wallace gets the victory here over Hikaru Shida, now she has that, oh my god, it's the snake! Oh, uh, the referee's going out of the way. He's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Ooh. He's he's like, out of here. As Heather Wallace gets the victory here over Hikaru Shida. But don't go anywhere, folks. We still have matches ahead of us as we go over to the break screen. All right, folks, we have some more women's action coming your way. As we have Aliza coming out here. Now, Aliza, she got a victory over Mercy Phantom at RCW Kill Shot as she comes out here with Sky Outlaw, the former, and that's painful to say, the former Dream Champion. And trust me, Kari... Possibly had one of the most impressive debuts we've ever seen here in the history of RCW in the three-year history we've been doing this. And, and she had eliminated everyone else. And it came down to Sky Outlaw and her. And it was a black mask that gave her the victory as Tony Storm, a longtime rival of Sky Outlaw, comes out here. How poetic is this? I believe Sky's record is 5-0 oh over Tony Storm. And now Aliza will face Tony here tonight. And here we go with Aliza and Tony Storm. Women's action. Here we go, folks, as the referee gets us underway. Oh, what a running headbutt. Sky Outlaw just watching along. But what do you guys think is up with Chris Danger? Because he could have returned at any time. But he chose to return during a match with Moxley? And now he was in the corner of Heather Wallace? Like, that makes no sense. Like, I know that Danger has known Moxley, but... Danger... I believe he got injured before Heather Wallace even debuted. I believe. So he doesn't know much about... Heather Wallace at all. Could he be scouting for something? I, I I have absolutely no idea. 
I mean, the outlaws, we're seeing this new era, this new, um, this new chapter in RCW where the outlaws are n not carrying any gold with them. Throughout the history of RCW, it has been the outlaws that have remained dominant. I mean, we've had other champions throughout the three-year uh, history of the show here, but one thing has remained consistent, and that is the outlaws being on top of the mountain as champions in some type of capacity, but now we don't have that anymore. The outlaws are... They're, they're not champions. They're not. Like, it's... It, 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 it seems abnormal for RCW as a drop kick right to the face of Aliza. And the reason why I say it seems abnormal is because, like I've said, throughout the history of this show, one thing has remained consistent. The Outlaws have always been on top of the mountain, whether they have titles or whether they're in dominant storylines or, or anything. They've always been the focal point of RCW, but now they're not anymore. Because without their... And that's not to say with without titles they're nothing. That's just... It's just very abnormal for the Outlaws to not have any gold. None. I mean, Jason Outlaw? I think he's the... Other than Jack, who we haven't seen for a very long time since the EFED Warfare. I mean, he represented the... RCW in the EFED Warfare, but other than that, we haven't seen him in a long time either. And I believe Jack is the only one to not have a title yet. He's the only one to not have a title. However, the next pay-per-view RCW Asylum does take place at Madison Square Garden in New York City, the hometown of the Outlaws, so there's no telling what could happen there. There's a spine buster right to Tony Storm here. One, two, and a kick out there from Tony. The sky continues to watch along and cheer on Aliza. Here's an elbow drop right there to Tony. And I bet Sky right now is loving every second that Tony gets taken out. Fireman's carry reversal. Uh oh, here it is. The Witch's Hollow on Tony Storm. And now she's calling Tony up. Shot to the back here. Oh, we've seen this. Sky's seen this. The wicked game. Right on Tony Storm. Let's check out some of these replays. She just bonked right off of that rope. Look at that. That is straight up brutality right there. Cover. But a rope break. Save Tony there. Oh, tried for the rolling savant kick, but no. She missed it. However, she plants. Tony Storm. Oh, lifting her up. What's she going for here? Zestar and right on the Tony Storm. Destroy. That's right. Destroy. As Tony Storm goes down again. One, two, no. Tony Storm got lucky with a rope break right there, but there was no, nothing saving her there, but she still found a way to kick out single leg drop kick. Oh, Tony. Tony with a big boat right to the face that you saw. Aliza take that. It's Tony Storm. Looking to go up top to do something here. Oh, tried for a drop kick to the back, and Aliza just dodged it right away. Backstabber. One, two, and a kick out. 
There was no way Tony Storm was going down to a backstabber kick to the midsection there from Tony. Oh, here she is. She's got it. Pile driver right onto Aliza. Planted her right on the head. That's something that Sky stole from Tony Storm there. Now she might be looking for Storm Zero. No! She plants Aliza with an interesting maneuver there. One, two, no! Aliza kicked out. Oh, a little bit of frustration here from Tony and another kick out. Not going to let her get the satisfaction out of that one. Oh, now just a working hold here on the ribs of Aliza here. Now here's something we haven't seen Brian in in a bit. Usually Brian's out here with Lisa, not Sky, so it's very, very strange to not see him out here. I mean, he did lose the RCW World Championship in two minutes. Got slammed right through the cage. Seth Rollins then just walked right out. And... That's all she wrote for that one. There's another kick out. And like I said, it, it, it's just very, very odd for the Outlaws to not have any gold around their waist. Double leg takedown there. This is a new chapter for all of them. A new beginning. Is now Aliza looking to end this one? Tony Storm doesn't even know what hit her. Oh, a hit right to the back again. And another wicked game on Tony. Oh, she bonked her head off of that second rope. Look at this. Boom, right there. On the way down. Trying to drag her away. But Tony Storm with a reversal. She saved herself there. Kick right to the chest, I think it was there. Sky hasn't gotten involved in this match whatsoever. Oh, what a shooting star press there. Oh, she's going to lift her up. Zest her in one more time. I think this was a calculated plan to get Tony Storm out of commission. One, two. I didn't just see that, did I? Tony Storm kicked out. This has to be a calculated plan. Oh, the wrist lock takedown. To take out Tony Storm for good. As Tony Storm refusing to go down here. Oh, trying to submit Aliza here. Trying to submit her. Sky's watching along. Oh, she got, she was shocked there. Thank God Aliza kicked out, or Aliza got out of it. Tried to lift her up. Oh, but Tony got out of it with an uppercut. Oh, Aliza caught the foot. Oh, she's going to lift her up again. Zister in again. Coming the storm that is Tony. One, two, oh my lord, she kicked out again. What in the blue hell? 
Does Aliza got to do? She's up now. Tony Storm's right below her. Oh my God! One, two, three, and Aliza finally vanquishes Tony Storm. It took that. Sky did not get involved at all in this match. At all. That wicked game off of the second rope, I thought that was it. But Aliza gets the victory here. Sky just watched along, let the match go. But I can't help but think this was a calculated plan to get rid of the longtime rival of Sky Outlaw. Because now that she doesn't have the title anymore, she has the opportunity to focus on other things. But what I'm hearing is we might have a true one on one match between Sky Outlaw and Kari, the Huntress, at RCW Asylum, but that's all pure speculation, folks. That's all pure speculation. Nothing is official yet. But let's get to your next matchup, folks, as we go over to the break screen. Here we go, folks. Our main event of the show. As we have Karrion Cross Coming out here, folks. He is time. And I guarantee with Chris Danger coming back, he's got to have it. His head on a swivel with this man, Karrion Cross, here on the roster. Because it was Karrion Cross that put him through the table. And who is he with? I see somebody that looks like Tyler Rage. What's Tyler Rage doing with him? What's Tyler Rage doing with him? This makes no sense. We've had so many things happen here tonight that have been absolutely crazy. First, we have Jason Outlaw beat Bryce in like four seconds. Then, then you have, then you have Chris Danger joining Heather Wallace, and now we have Tyler Rage in the corner of Karrion Cross. As the best bout machine 
And Kenny Omega comes out here. Now I know why. Now I know why Tyler Rage is with him. It all makes sense. Tyler Rage, the newly crowned Ravage champion. Kenny Omega was in that match. And Kenny Omega and Tyler Rage have been playing mind games with each other. And this has been... It's all that it's been the entire season of RCW. I mean, this is season two of Daybreak. But in RCW, that's literally all they've been doing is playing mind games with each other. Throughout the entire season, all the way up leading up to Kill Shot. It is absolutely insane. Now Tyler Rage has a title for the first time in his run in RCW. And Kenny Omega, the best bout machine, getting ready to face a man that I don't think he's prepared for. And that is Karrion Cross. And here we go, folks. Tyler Rage in the corner. Karrion, oh, what a German suplex from Kenny Omega to start this one off. Right on to Karrion Cross. Oh, and a V-trigger knee! Right off the bat! Okay, Kenny. All right. All right, my guy. Oh, but what a lariat! Taking out Kenny. Not even a one count. Oh, but Kenny, Kenny with the reversal here on Cross. Kenny's already lifted up Cross, but Cross has other plans. Cross breaking out of that fireman's carry. And now Cross taking down Kenny. The helicopter spin. Oh, and a slap right to the face. As Tyler Rage watches on. Now, like I said, I, I I don't know why Tyler Rage would be out here with him other than the fact that Kenny's here. Maybe it's to play more mind games with Kenny. I don't know. Oh, what a kick to the back of the leg. Is Kenny... Kenny now... Kenny! My God, what a urinagi! I'm used to carrying Cross doing that to other people. I'm not used to him being on the receiving end of one of those. As now... Kenny Omega trying to slow the pace, but Karrion Cross, the much more powerful man than Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega's got the agility and quickness, but Cross has the power, and look at that! Another lariat. Taking down the best bout machine, but Kenny Omega with the arm drag. Oh, tried for the big boot, but Kenny checked the big boot. Oh, what's Kenny going for here, Kenny? Gonna drop Karrion Cross into a pin. One. No. Karrion Cross with a kick out easily. Oh, but a gut. Deadlift. Power bomb. I cannot believe what we're seeing here from Kenny. Oh, but no. Oh, the dunes they say you don't know Kenny with a bulldog. Kenny Omega just gave a bulldog to Karrion Cross. Now he's charging it up. Uh oh, the one winged angel. Here it is, right on Karrion Cross. One, two, to finish Karrion and a kick out at two and a half. Like Don Callis, the invisible hand, likes to say, nobody kicks out of the one-winged angel, but we've seen it happen. I don't care what he has to say. Oh, and you see plants carried cross. What are we seeing? As a cover here, two. Almost. What are we seeing here? 
Karrion Cross getting absolutely decimated by Kenny Omega. Oh my god. The submission. The submission here right on Cross, but Cross got out. Cross, Cross tried for a kick. Oh no, the Uranagi one more time. Kenny Omega holding his own here against Karrion Cross, and this is the first time I have ever seen Karrion Cross be dominated like this. Tyler Rage doing absolutely nothing to help out Karrion Cross here. But maybe that's because he knows that Karrion doesn't need his help. He's got faith. He's trying to wear down Karrion, and I think he already has. I mean, we've seen him do a lot of quick work here on Cross. Oh, tried for the Snapdragon, but no. Karrion. Karrion gonna lift Kenny up now. Kenny! Power bomb! My God, there's the power back. There it is. Kenny, you just signed your funeral! Oh my God! That lariat again. Now he's got to wear down Kenny Carrion Cross. Oh, what a knee right to the face! And there's another one. The striking combination of Kenny Omega just... It seems like it can't be beat here. It's a stomp right to the arm of Karrion Cross as Kenny says, that's it, I'm done with this shit. As he goes for the cover and a kick out again. Kenny Omega's getting way too cocky here. And it's gonna cost him. Oops, and I think it just did. I think it just did. Straight jacket. Cross jacket, cross jacket, cross jacket on Kenny Omega. Cross jacket on Kenny Omega. I keep calling it the straight jacket, but it's the cross jacket on Kenny Omega, and he got out of it. And another stomp to the arm. What the hell is this right now? Oh, cross. Cross, oh! That took him down. Irish whip to the corner with Tyler Rage in it. Suplex into the corner. You gotta get something going, Cross. You got to DDT and that busted him wide open. The running DDT from Kenny Omega. Oh, good Lord. Oh, no. Oh! My God, the power. Where is Kenny getting this? Where, where is this coming from? It's like a fire had been lit under the ass of Kenny Omega. And he's just, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know at this point. Looking for Doomsday Saito. There it is. But Cross looks at him, and he knows that's not going to be enough. He knows. Here it is. A knockout punch right to the back of the neck, and Kenny Omega just bounced off of that rope. What authority he bounced. Look at that. He was still bouncing. One. Two. No. Kenny Omega. Kicked out of the knockout punch. Oh, now a jawbreaker. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, drop kick, basement drop kick right on the knees. Oh, come on, Kenny. You're not gonna, not like that. I swear, this man is getting just way too cocky. 
There's no way you're gonna take down Karrion Cross just by going for a lackluster cover like that. It just doesn't happen. Oh my god. Oh! Off of the rope goes Kenny. And now Cross, for the first time, we're seeing him take over. Oops, and just as I say that, Kenny Omega. But he's like, get off me. Oh, there it is. Another reversal. Another reversal from Cross. These guys going back and forth, not letting one another get anything. Knee right to the midsection, trying for a cutter, no. And a kick, just to create some space. As Kenny is reeling in the corner. And Cross knows it. Cross knows it. Doomsday Saito. Oh, what a punch to the face. And a slap. Oh, what a spine buster. Into a pin and a rope break. What a sequence. Oh, my God. Another shot to the arm. Oh, the one-winged angel. Here it is, folks. The one-winged angel. Oh, but Kenny Omega! Couldn't quite get it. It's Cross with a... Oh, my God. Launching. Kenny Omega. He could have launched him in a, into a new solar system. Into a different galaxy with that. Oh, my God. Another suplex in the corner. And Tyler Rage, you saw him take a closer look at the face of Kenny as he just got, oh my lord, a tilt, a, a running DDT. Uh oh, Snapdragon. There it is, into a bridge. One, no, cross. A man full of strength. Not gonna go down like that. But it might be the end of Cross here. The one winged angel. One, two, and Cross again. Kicks out of the one winged angel. One of the most protected moves in professional wrestling. Has now been defeated by Karrion Cross. It's Karrion Cross with a big boot. And now it's going to be the end of Kenny here. Knockout punch, no. Kenny Omega. Still fighting. But Cross fights even harder. Tried for a kick again. No. V trigger. The knee buckled. The knee buckled. Alabama slam right on Kenny. Turns him around. Oh, he's gonna send Kenny Law. Oh my lord. I don't think I've ever seen a man bounce that many times like that. A man should not be tossed around like that. The human body is not meant for that as a headbutt right to the face. And now Kenny. Has a crimson mask of his own. As these two greats continue to fight as Kenny Omega trying to create some space as he tosses them to the outside. Everybody pays the toll, as Cross likes to say. Everybody's got to pay it. And it appears that Kenny's going to pay it. Doomsday Saito. And now he's going for it again. Going to try it again. Turns him around. The knockout punch. No. I think that was a low blow. The low blow. 
The one winged angel off of the low blow! One! Two! No! Kenny! Oh my god! Ew, I thought that was a low blow! I thought it was! It looked like it was! What a match! And it's not over! Kenny! Kenny, oh my god, what a moonsault! As he continues to go after those arms. He can't lock in the straight jacket. If he doesn't got arms to do it with, tossing him out to the ring. Oh lord. Oh my god. Cross. Kenny Omega with Tyler Rage at ringside. Tyler Rage has done absolutely nothing to interrupt this match. Which is great. You know, because we never like to have, like, stupid interferences interfere with matches, but... Oh my god, I would have just tossed Kenny out. I mean... It's got to be adrenaline rush rushing through the veins of Cross and Omega. That is the only explanation as to why these two guys are still going. Larry are turning Kenny inside out. And he's just looking at Kenny like a, it's almost like a death stare. Like, I'm going to kill you. Oh, look at this. Snapdragon! One, two, no, cross. Kenny Omega not going for the one winged angel. Oh no, he's going for something even more dangerous. Kenny Omega. Putting his life on the line. The suplex through the outside. Right on the cross. As Tyler Rage forced to watch on. He doesn't even know what the hell happened. He was trying to get the crowd pumped up. And they're pumped up even now. As the chance of this is awesome. Rain. Through the RCW Daybreak Arena. But Cross is up and he's ready to go. Just waiting for Kenny to turn around. And I don't know if that was such a good idea. Oh! Shot! Oh, I thought it was a shotgun drop kick, but it's the knees. Oh, here it is! B trigger in the corner! Could that be it for Cross? One. No. These two guys, I don't even know what they got to do. It's another V trigger. Uh oh, here it is. Kenny Omega going up the best bout machine. The battle cry may reign supreme here. Oh, elbow. No. Cross, get out of the way. Oh, tried for the snapdragon again. Nope. Here it is. Doomsday Saito suplex there from Carrion Cross. Oh, now Carrion Cross again. Another one. Knockout punch. Here it is. Right to the back of the neck of Kenny Omega. Bang. Lights out, Kenny. Kenny has to pay the toll. No. Kenny Omega.
My god! Everybody's gotta pay the toll, but Kenny is refusing to pay it! He's walk- he's running straight through that shit! Oh, what a lariat again! Somebody's gotta pay the toll eventually. I mean, we all gotta pay it here in New York! Oh my god! A date 18. And Cross rolls out. How smart is that? Boom! Right there, right to the face. Tossing Kenny right back in. Oh, uh, Kenny fires back with a right hand of his own. Knee. Right to the midsection. Oh, a good headbutt. And that sent Kenny a little bit. A little bit of a ways. Kick to the midsection. Oh, crucifix. My God. That's something right out of Lance Archer's playbook. The Murderhawks playbook. Can you imagine Cross and Archer as an Alabama slam? What a match. As he tried for the feed trigger. But Cross sniffed that one right out. As he's going for it again. The Saito! Doomsday is upon us. Everybody pays the toll, Kenny. And you just might have to. Another knockout punch and he bounced right off of the rope. You saw that right there. Bang! Let's get another replay. Bang! There it is. Bounced off of the rope. Look at Kenny's body. It's motionless. It's lifeless. One, two, three. Cross! With the victory. A hard fought one. What a main event. What a main event. That is just absolutely insane. Absolutely insane match between these two guys. There was plenty of times where I thought it was over. I thought it was over after what appeared to look like a low blow. It looked like a low blow. Trust me. But Cross gets the victory here over Kenny Omega. Here in the main event of RCW Daybreak.